Hey everyone, welcome back to the Golf House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and this is Air Fryer February. This is a collab put on by Prepper Potpourri and it has several different channels. I will leave all of their channel links in the description box below. So, Air Fryer February, that means all through February, Monday through Friday, each channel is going to have a new air fryer recipe for you. And some of them will have two, some of them will have three. This is my third air fryer recipe for you. And if you want to learn about your chance to win a brand new air fryer, keep watching through the end. Right now, we are going to get started on our air fryer recipe. And let me tell you, it is super delicious. We're going to make some easy and flavorful ground beef wellingtons. Let me show you how I make them. I've got my pan on a medium heat. I'm just going to put in a little bit of butter. Um, let's see, probably a tablespoon. What we're going to make first is our mushroom pate. Now, instead of putting it on top like you normally would do with a, a liver pate or a mushroom pate, because I don't care for liver pate, um, so usually when I make it, I make a mushroom pate. So we're going to incorporate all the flavors of the mushroom pate into the ground beef itself to flavor it. So I've got, I'm just going to use one pound of ground beef today because there are only four of us. And then I have here a half of a medium onion or you can use a small onion. I'm not going to salt or pepper these yet. I've got six ounces of mushrooms that I've just sliced. I'm going to throw those in. Cleaned them and sliced them. I just want to get everything cooked down really soft. I'm going to turn my heat to more of a medium low. Because I am going to put this in my little food processor and I am going to chop it down into a paste to mix into our meat. And I believe we need some more butter. You can use butter for this or you can use um, bacon fat or lard. I would suggest um, using something like that versus like olive oil. I guess you can use olive oil, but it'll take on a little bit different flavor. After all, this is going to cook into a smooth pate. Well, we're going to chop it into that after we cook it. I'm going to flavor this with a little bit of thyme. So probably maybe a half a teaspoon, that's about a quarter. Maybe about a half a teaspoon of thyme. Okay, I'm going to let this go ahead and cook down for, I don't know, maybe five more minutes and then I'm going to add garlic. So I shall return. All right, I'm going to crush two cloves of garlic into this. And I am going to add some fresh cracked black pepper. You can put as much as you like in there. And then some Himalayan pink salt. This garlic cooked, and we're gonna dump it right off into the little food processor. Just want to make sure that your mushrooms are good and cooked because they do release water. And if they're not cooked enough, when you mix it into the meat, then it'll water into the puff pastry. I'm gonna let this cook until it starts to dry up a little bit. Because I want all, after I salted it, I want to release all the water. Okay, I have my little tiny food processor. This is just my manual processor. 
put my mushrooms in. Nice and buttery. That'll be good for the meat. Because I think 93% uh, I think I got 93% meat. So <laughs> it was what was on sale. It's going to need the extra fat. Blend this up. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth because we're again <clears throat> mixing it into the meat. It's not gonna be pate today. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna put this off to the side and let it cool off. Because it is hot. You don't want to put this into your cold meat. Okay. Okay, I have one pound of ground beef here. This is the 93. Seven, so not super fatty. I'm gonna put in some Worcestershire sauce for flavor. I'm gonna put in some fresh cracked black pepper, even though I already know I have it in the mushroom pate. I want it really flavorful. I'm gonna put in a little Himalayan pink salt. I am going to put in a little bit of onion powder, probably a teaspoon. And a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then I am going to put in um, all of my mushroom pate and this has all of the butter in it so it will lend some fat back into the meat some moisture but if you're gonna make this I recommend more of an 80 20 this is just what I had because it was on sale Some of this is still <laughs> frozen chunks in here. And man, it's cold. Okay, I think that's mixed up pretty good. I am going to do four patties out of this pound. Okay, there is one. And I'm not using breadcrumbs or binding or anything. Two. Just kind of just put it just trying to incorporate flavor. Big home. Maybe add a little more to this one. You could probably get more out of this if you wanted to do smaller portions. But for being one pound and doing quarter pound burger patties, I'm okay with that. Okay, there's my patties. I'm going to wash my hands up and we're going to get busy putting it in the puff pastry. I've got my little tray and I actually foil wrapped it. I've got a puff pastry. I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to put just a tiny bit of flour on this board.
and I'm going to roll this out just slightly. Okay, and just a little bit more. I'm going to cut this in half. If I were going for minis, then they would be smaller. I have Borson cheese. Did you guys ever buy this? It's the best stuff. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I like to use it on here. Either I use the mushroom pate on the top or I use this. And uh, I'm going for flavor today since we're using ground beef. So I am going to take a spoonful and put it there. And another spoonful and put it there. Sticky. Sticky stuff, man. I'm going to put my burger there and my burger there. Here is the trick. Because these burgers are bigger, we're going to have to stretch the puff pastry a little bit to fit. Plus, I've got them cut in an in awkward square shape, so that doesn't help matters. <laughs> it's just dinner. Try to seal this around here. Okay, so it's not going to be pretty, but it is going to be delicious. I suppose we could do this side. I don't know what side looks better. Again, we're going to seal here. If you want to be way more upscale and decorate it and make it beautiful, gosh, I so encourage it. <laughs> Okay, I have them all done. I am going to give all of them an egg wash. With my knife, I'm going to make little tiny vent holes. Okay, let's get it in the air fryer. Okay, I am using the Emerald Lagasse 360 air fryer. And I am going to put it on air fry 400 degrees and I'm going to start it. It automatically sets it at like 18 and I have no idea how long these are going to take. 
So I'm gonna cook these for 18 minutes and then we'll see where we're at. I will let you know when I pull them out exactly how long they took. Okay, now for our bonus air fryer recipe. I have Brussels sprouts. I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil on them. Fresh cracked black pepper. A little Himalayan pink salt. I'm gonna toss these guys around. I am going to put my Brussels sprouts in the basket of my upright. And I'm gonna put him in there. Turn that on. 400 degrees, 15 minutes. Sounds good. After the 15 minutes, I'll give it a check and see where we're at. If they take longer, I'll let you know. 15 minutes and these guys are perfectly roasted. Okay, these are out of the oven and they took 36 minutes. Okay, here's my complete dinner. I have my ground beef wellington. We've got our Brussels sprouts and I just drizzle a little bit of sriracha mayo on them and then I have cocannon. I am going to cut into this. My pastry is crunchy. My burger is done. And the dogs are going to start barking because my husband just pulled up. <laughs> Isn't that the way it works? I guess he's up here just in time for dinner. It's nice and cheesy. Super delicious, tons of flavor. All right, that is all there is to the ground beef Wellingtons and how yummy the Brussels sprouts in the air fryer are my favorite. Brussels sprouts are pretty much my favorite vegetable and I absolutely love them roasted in the oven, but the air fryer makes them so crispy. And these ground beef Wellingtons are so full of flavor, you are going to love them. You can f flavor them any way you want. If you don't like mushrooms, onions, garlic, leave that stuff out. You can flavor the meat however you like. The borson cheese is delicious. Or you can skip the borson cheese and put the um, mushroom pate on the top. However you want to do it, they're delicious. After all, it's your kitchen. Make it the way you like it. Okay, in the details for the air fryer. If you are interested in winning a brand new air fryer, Prepper Popery is going to be giving it away. She has teamed up with a company and I can't remember the name of the company, but anywho, that's not the point. It's a brand new air fryer. Anyway, you are gonna wanna watch all of the videos in Air Fryer February. You're gonna wanna comment on all the videos in Air Fryer February. At the end of February, Prepper Potpourri is going to do a random picker for the day and whoever's video falls on that day will be the video that she's going to enter the comments into the YouTube random comment picker. So you could win a brand new air fryer. And if you don't have one already, you're definitely going to want one, especially after seeing all these delicious air fryer recipes. I may never use my oven again. I'm just saying. <laughs> If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. If you haven't started following me on Instagram yet, you should, at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes, including this one, at JennyGoff.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.